hello friends i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and today i am going to tell you about uh, the central administration of sharepoint uh, what is what it interface look like and what are the uh, features of this okay first of all uh, this is the central ad administration page here if i go uh, to step by step in application management you can manage your web applications here uh, you can create new web applications uh, you are seeing that uh, i am go going to demonstrate uh, just the interface uh, it will ask you some information and uh, it will create new web application uh, web application is just a container it's an empty container so whenever you create a, a web a web application uh, it is mandatory that after creating web application you uh, create some site collections <clears throat> so here you can create site collections uh, here uh, this is the interface of this uh, after creating site collection you can uh, select a template there are different uh, types of template here uh, these are uh, some of them which are shown here you can also add some custom template here okay so uh, this was about site collection uh, you can also delete a site collection where uh, you can see uh, if you select some site collection for example i have this site collection uh, created in my uh, domain i can delete it if i want to uh, similarly you can uh, specify quotas here uh, by defining the quota uh, you can uh, limit the storage to a maximum of some size uh, this uh, storage limit is applied at uh, site collection level uh, when you create a new site collection uh, similarly there are uh, many other features you can see all site collections here uh, and uh, databases these are the databases uh, right now i have only one database in which only one site exists you can uh, create maximum 5000 site collections uh, in a uh, one database but it is recommended uh, that you keep the size of uh, because you know uh, as you know that uh, every site contains some content so if you uh, create uh, let's say 2000 sites uh, at uh, one database the database will grow very rapidly uh, it is recommended that the database size must not exceed uh, maximum or up to the limit of 200 gb so for uh, keeping the databases up to uh, the limit of 200 GB or less than that uh, what you do you create new content databases okay so after creating new content databases you can create a number of sites in uh, other DBs uh, that is databases <clears throat> similarly if I go to uh, manage service applications uh, by default two applications are configured here uh, you can also create new service application uh, for example you can configure search service you can configure uh, user, user profile service i will tell you details in uh, other video about these services uh, similarly you can uh, monitor the uh, going uh, ongoing jobs yeah, uh, here you are seeing some jobs are by default uh, set and they are scheduled by uh, the sharepoint itself some jobs are configured by you so you can uh, see all of these jobs you can also see uh, segregate among uh, different types so <clears throat> similarly security you can uh, configure service accounts that are uh, mandatory for managing the services here uh, similarly uh, they, these application are related to exchange server you can also uh, deploy send to connections by configuring your mailing server here uh, you can also uh, manage the services that are running here uh, these are all of the services that are running here so first of all uh, for beginners uh, i think uh, this is a backup and restore process uh, and this is upgrade and migration and apps catalog uh, for beginners uh, this part is important uh, i recommend you to explore this part in which you can create web applications you can create site collections uh, you manages these site collections you manage the content databases so this is about uh, central administration initial demonstration uh, in my later videos i am going to create uh, multiple web applications site collections then i am going to configure these services 
so i request you to join my channel by subscribing it and, and clicking on the bell icon so that you may uh, get uh, useful videos uh, later on i thank you all for watching this video take care goodbye